What's going on everybody? Josh Polcock here and in today's video this is going to be a really really good one. I'm going to show you why you need to stop using Vercel if you're familiar with Vercel, maybe you're not even familiar with it and you know I'm going to show you a better alternative potentially. Um, Vercel if you're spending hundreds or thousands of dollars of building out your apps or you know hosting whatever the case may be with Vercel um, the free open source alternative that you can start using today is called Coolify. And Coolify is great. Maybe if you're not even building out apps per se or building out like software, but even if you're just self hosting your own, you know, projects or different things, different apps, open source projects um, on VPSs. All right. And it's you maybe have a couple on one VPS and some on another, or maybe just all on one. And it's, you're just using the command line to, you know, manage them all. This is something very simple where you can literally set up Coolify and you can really install anything within its own project from anything from, you know, we have databases like Postgres, uh, Redis, uh, MongoDB, MySQL. We have all these different open source apps, Cloudflare, um, some different ones up here. We have Supabase. Um, we have Nextcloud, no code DB, super base right here, vault warden, uh, WordPress N8N right here. You know, the possibilities are really endless and you can literally just do this with a click of a button. Very, very simple. It takes all the hassle and, you know, all the difficulty really away once you actually get this installed. So we're going to dive into it. The possibilities here are endless. You're going to want to stay tuned. So let's dive right in. All right, guys so first off you know before we get into you know what you actually do to install it you're going to need to get a vps all right so there's you can really get a vps from anywhere all right i'll just tell you what i used i use contabo just because um i found that you know the specs here for the price are just uh kind of the best um so if we go to vps now with coolify you're gonna want something that has at least i believe uh, you can check the docs i'll leave a link in the description for the docs i believe it needs minimum like two two gigabytes of ram for coolify maybe a maybe a you sh i would probably be safer with a bit more especially depending on how much you know other um apps or you know software you're going to be uh you know uh hosting on it but you know i went with this plan right here so we got Six cores, CPU, 16 gigabytes of RAM, 400 gigabyte SSD, and yeah, it's only 12 bucks a month, all right? So that's what I went with. Once you actually get your VPS, you are going to want to root log into it. So I've already installed Coolify here, but I'll, it's very, very simple to install. I'll show you exactly what I did. So all you're simply going to do is once you root log in to your VPS, you're just going to run this one line right here, this curl command. So curl dash F S at S with a capital and then L with a capital and then HTTPS, um, cool labs.io coolify install dot S H and then bash. And I'll leave a link for the docs where it literally gives you that copy and paste command, which is right over in the documentation so if we're here we are in the coolify documentation we can go over here to installation and self-hosted all right you can literally see it's a tldr for installation you just copy this okay um you may need i don't know if you need docker before you do this but um i would just double check and either way it's yeah it's best to have doc docker anyways so um, I don't know if you need it beforehand, but yeah, if you do, I, I would go to, uh, Google and Docker installation. I would just go to the Docker docs and, you know, install Docker as well. And then you can run this curl command. So you may need it before or after, I don't know, but you may as well have Docker on there anyways. So Docker install Docker, and then in, just run this command and then you'll have Coolify. So once you actually get Coolify, it's going to look like this. It's just going to be pointing to your uh, VPS. So you'll see here I have, you know, server.executivestrad.com. 
So the way you do that is once you go to your Coolify, and the Coolify is going to be your IP address of your VPS, and then colon, and then the port is 8,000, okay? So you're gonna go there, gonna ask you to create an account. It's gonna look like this, create an account. You're just going to obviously create your account. And then, yeah, you can really just skip this onboarding here, and it's gonna look like this. You're gonna go to settings, you can go to general, and then instance domain, you can simply just change where uh, whatever domain or subdomain you want to use for your Coolify instance. All right. And then, of course, you're going to go back into your domain provider or Cloudflare, wherever your domain is. And you're just going to add the DNS pointing to your IP address of the VPS. And yeah, you're just going to add an A record right there with, you know, your subdomain. And then I just changed the instance's name here. And then from that point, once you do that, let's just say I did do something, I believe. Yeah, you just hit save anytime you do that. So it would save. And then you'd be able to go to your actual instance domain uh, URL. And then, so just to give a quick overview of Coolify, and I'm going to do a lot more videos, you know, more in depth, showing you different how to set up different projects and you know how to connect different servers or sources or destinations whatever the case may be but we'll quickly do an overview and also too guys um if you check out coolify's website here let's just see some of the stuff they include so self-hosting with superpowers and also guys this is um yeah uh so any any language any server any use case push to deploy free ssl certificate ssl certificates no vendor lock-in Automatic DB backups, webhooks, powerful API, collaborative pull requests, deployments, server automations, notifications, and monitoring. And uh, they have a community as well. And um, you can see specific sponsors, etc. So um, we have dashboard right here. All right, this will just show your projects. All right, this is a new install of Coolify. So, uh, you know, there's really just one right here. Um, and it will also show your servers and your deployments, but uh, we don't have any at the moment. So projects, I'll show you this in just a second, a bit more in depth. Servers, so this is where you would connect a server. Let's just say I had another server that I got from Contabo and I wanted to connect it. Maybe I'm host, so you can literally just go here, connect it. Um, you would just, you know, IP address, root, um, etc., private key. And you can connect it there. So when you're actually deploying projects, you can either select what server to host it on. You could decide to host it on the same server as your Coolify, the local host, or you could decide to host it on your other host from a different server. So that's really, really cool and really, really powerful. Sources. All right. So this is where you can add your Git sources for your applications, destinations. So network endpoints to deploy your resources. So you can go here and add that. S, they even have S3 storages for backup. So you can go here, add any that you have. Shared variables. So you can set shared variables. So team projects, uh, environment-wide variables. So team-wide, project-wide, environment-wide. Just to make the, you know, variableize it, make it a lot easier, make it um, congruent, you know, on, uh, across different projects. Notifications. So you can, you know, obviously do that. Keys and tokens. So private keys, API keys tags okay and then command uh, command center you'll see um you can select the server execute command etc um profile teams so you can even set up different teams and you'll see here just selecting different teams and that's pretty much it guys yeah and if we go for example let's just say okay i want to start a project so once you get to this point go here click on add and we can just call this test all right so there's really a couple there's a few different ways you can do great projects um i'll show you more of them in the future but once you do that you'll see that there is environments so um you could add a new environment um there is this production environment that's already going to be in here so you can go in here then we could add a resource so add new resource now this is where you can select um you know what resource you want so it could be Public repositories. You could literally go to GitHub, get the GitHub URL, put it here. Um, you, private repositories, uh, private repositories with the deployment key. Um, 
Docker file, Docker and Compose, existing Docker image, databases. You know, this is, this is what I was showing you at the start of this video here. We have many, many different options to choose from. And you can literally just select whatever your heart desires. So, you know, you could go ahead and select N8N, for example. It shows the docs here too. Let's just say selected N8N, server name, um, you know, there, environment variables, you see here, storages, scheduled tasks, logs, webhooks, resource operations, tags, danger zone is where you could delete it. Um, gives you your, their documentation right here. Um, and close that. Go back here. Um, service stack. So you can change the service name if you want. And once you're really ready, you would just um, click on deploy. Like so. And then it would start deploying. You would see the commands. I'm not going to wait through the whole entire thing. All right. You will see service started. So logs here. So let me close this. And if we go, we can see right here, if I go settings. So let's just say I wanted to, this is the domain right here. I, this is a temporary domain. Um, you could either replace this or you could just add a comma and that add your domain pointed towards the IP address, right? All right, guys. So I just wanted to give you a quick video showing you this new tool that I've been using coolify it's really really awesome and you know if you're someone that uses vpss and hosted hosts um you know self-hosted things like n8n uh, superbase whatever the case may be or if you're building projects etc it can be a really good alternative to vercel open source or it's just something that you can really use to manage your vpss manage your open source projects etc so it's awesome I really am liking it so far and uh, I will be making more videos showing you specifics about it very, very soon. So if you're interested in that and you got some value from this, you know, let me know in the comments down below. Sh uh, smash a like button and I uh, definitely would appreciate a subscribe to support the channel. And, you know, we're very tr we're trying to grow. We upload a video every single day on different topics from, you know, AI, automation, you know, building out different cool things. So, uh, yeah, stay tuned for those daily uploads and make sure you don't miss them by hitting that subscribe button. Other than that, guys, if you're new to the channel and you haven't already joined the Stride community, it's our free group. We have it about uh, eight, 700 to 800, uh, 750 to 800 members in our free Facebook group and Discord channel. So link for that will be in the description down below, guys. It's 100 percent free. Also, too, guys, if you haven't already checked out my book, Client Acquisition Code, showing you how to get clients with AI and different marketing systems. If you run a business, whether you're a coach, consultant, entrepreneur, a marketing agency, you know, SaaS business, B2B service based business, whatever the case may be, this book, Client Acquisition Code, will definitely help you out. So, link for that will be in the description to, down below, too, guys. And then if you want help scaling your business, you can book a call with me at executivestride.com forward slash apply. Link for that will be in the description down below, guys, too. Other than that, guys, I will see you in tomorrow's video. Keep hustling, keep grinding, and of course, guys, accelerate your stride. Take care.